Just as a potter carefully molds and shapes clay into a vessel of honor, so too does God use our trials and tribulations to refine our character, strengthen our faith, and prepare us for the plans he has for us. He sees the bigger picture, even when we can only see the pieces right in front of us. When we surrender our timelines to God, we open ourselves up to the possibility of experiencing his perfect peace, which surpasses all understanding. This peace doesn't mean that our circumstances will magically change overnight. It simply means that we can find rest and contentment in the midst of our circumstances, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. So if you're in a season of waiting, be encouraged. Don't lose heart. Continue to seek God's face, to trust in his promises and to believe that he is working everything together for your good. Your breakthrough is coming. Your healing is on the way. And in God's perfect timing, you will reap a harvest of blessings beyond your wildest dreams. Healing from heartbreak is a journey, not a destination. It's a process that takes time, patience, and a willingness to surrender our pain to God. There will be days when we take two steps forward and one step back. There will be moments when the grief feels overwhelming. And we may wonder if we'll ever truly feel whole again. But even in the midst of our brokenness, God is present. He is our healer, our comforter, and our guide. He promises to walk alongside us through every valley, to bind up our wounds, and to make us stronger in the broken places. As we lean into his love and grace, he will gently lead us towards healing and wholeness. One of the most powerful things we can do when we're hurting is to pray. It is in these moments of vulnerability that we find solace and strength. Prayer is our lifeline to God, a way for us to pour out our hearts to him, to express our pain, our doubts, and our fears. It is a sacred conversation where we can be completely honest. We don't have to pretend to be strong or to have all the answers. In fact, it is in our weakness that we often find our greatest connection to the divine. God already knows what's in our hearts. He understands our struggles and our deepest desires. He simply wants us to come to him as we are with all our imperfections and worries. The Bible tells us to cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. For first Peter 5, 7. This is a powerful reminder of his unwavering love and support. When we surrender our burdens to God in prayer, we experience a sense of peace that surpasses all understanding. This peace is a gift that calms our troubled hearts. We may not always see immediate answers to our prayers, but we can trust that God hears our cries and is working behind the scenes on our behalf. His timing is perfect and his plans are always for our good. In addition to prayer, immersing ourselves in God's word is essential for healing and growth. The Bible is filled with verses that speak to the brokenhearted, offering comfort, encouragement, and hope. When we meditate on these verses, allowing them to wash over our souls, we begin to experience the transformative power of God's love. His word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us through the darkness and leading us towards healing and restoration. As we spend time in scripture, we'll find that God's promises become more real to us. His character becomes clearer and our faith is strengthened. Healing from heartbreak is not a solitary journey. God has placed people in our lives who can offer support, encouragement, and accountability. It's important to surround ourselves with those who will love us unconditionally, pray for us, and point us back to God's truth. This might include close friends, family members, mentors, or members of our church community. Don't be afraid to reach out for help, to share your struggles, and to allow others to walk alongside you on your healing journey. Remember, we were never meant to walk through life alone. As we reach the end of our time together today, I want to remind you that even in the depths of heartbreak, hope remains. 
It may feel like a tiny flicker at times, a distant star in a vast and empty sky, but it's there nonetheless. Hold on to that flicker. Nurture it with prayer, with God's word, and with the support of loving friends and family. Remember that your heartbreak does not define you. It's not the end of your story, but rather a turning point, an opportunity for God to do something new and extraordinary in your life. He's not finished with you yet. He has a plan for your life, a plan filled with hope and a future. As you continue on your healing journey, be kind to yourself. Allow yourself time to grieve, to process your emotions, and to seek God's guidance for your life. Don't try to rush the process or compare your journey to someone else's. Remember that God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't make sense to us. He sees the bigger picture, and He knows what's best for us, even when we can't see it ourselves. Trust in His love, His goodness, and His faithfulness. If you're feeling lost and alone today, I want to pray for you. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with open hearts, lifting those who are hurting, those who are carrying the heavy weight of heartbreak and loss. We ask for your comfort, your peace, and your healing touch to surround them like a warm embrace. Remind them that they are not alone, that you are with them always, even in the darkest of valleys. Give them the strength to keep going, the courage to face each new day, and the faith to believe that you are working all things together for their good. Help them to see themselves through your eyes as your beloved children, worthy of love, deserving of joy, and destined for greatness. Fill them with your hope, your peace, and your unwavering love. In your precious name, we pray. Amen. Remember, you are cherished and you are his, and in his presence there is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore.